Well, good morning, my friends. It's certainly good to be able to come back into your presence to share just a thought from the precious Word of God. Today, I want to share with you a thought that I've titled, Not Being Distracted. One of the biggest problems in today's society is there's just so much stuff that can get in the way of uh, our focus upon God. There is uh, entertainment, and we all love to be entertained. Uh, there's television, uh, social media. Uh, as good as it is, uh, it can distract us from time to time and keeping us from being what we ought to be for the glory of God. And the list could go on and on and on. Uh, in Matthew's Gospel, chapter 14, verses 22 through verse number 33, we read the story of uh, Jesus uh, sending his disciples uh, on into the sea, and uh, he goes into a mountain place to pray. And uh, after he comes off of the mountain, the Bible says that he begins to walk on the water out to the boat to where his disciples uh, are. And uh, as he's walking on the water, they think that they see a spirit or a ghost, and they cry out in fear. And of course, uh, Jesus says, have no fear for it is I. And Peter says, you know, that sounds like Jesus. Lord, if it's really you, let me come to you on the water. And we know the story well that uh, Jesus says to him, come. And he steps out of the boat and he begins to walk on the water out to the Lord. Well, as he's walking on the water out to the Lord, uh, the Bible says that a storm uh, begins to arise. And and brew out in the sea. And uh, Peter loses sight of Jesus, and, and he gets his eyes on the storm, and he begins to sink into the depth of the sea. Well, my friend, I want you to know that that's what we do in life. We're distracted by something that causes us uh, to sink in the depth of the sea of life. The writer of Proverbs says in Proverbs chapter 4, verse 25 and verse 26, he says, Let thine eyes look right on, and let thine eyelids look straight before thee. Ponder the path of thy feet, and let thy ways be established. Listen, my friend, the power of sin distracts us from walking Christ's straight and narrow path. Uh, the great evangelist uh, who is with the Lord now, Freddie Gage, made this statement. He says, sin thrills for a season, but then it kills. Sin fascinates for a while, but then it assassinates. The Bible says the wages of sin is death. So the power of sin distracts us from our walk with Christ. Sin draws our attention away from Christ and right living. Uh, sin makes us look at the wrong life. Uh, sin, sinful desires take away from uh, those things that Christ wants for us and, and wants from us. Listen, my friend, to live a godly life, we must focus all of our attention upon what is good and godly behavior. And the only way that we can do that is to keep our eyes on Christ. My friend, it is he and he alone that can help us uh, uh, keep our eyes focused upon him. And as Satan, like a roaring lion, throws about those things, it causes us to lose sight. Just like he threw the storm, I believe, out into the ocean that caused Peter to lose sight. My friend, he throws those storms at us from time to time to distract us, to cause us to lose sight of Jesus. But hear me today, we must look straight ahead as Christ is standing before us. The path we take must be the only path for us, the path that Christ would have for us to walk. We must not walk on some unwholesome and ungodly path, but we must walk straight ahead, not being distracted from all of the sinful attractions on the right or on the left of our path, but look 
looking straight forward at the Lord Jesus Christ. And when we walk, we must not walk toward evil and sinful allurements, but instead we must walk away from evil and toward the righteousness of God through Jesus Christ at all times. Yes, you see, Peter got his eyes on his storm and he began to sink into the depth of the sea. Many times in life, you and I get our eyes upon the storms that we face in this life and, and it causes us to lose sight of Jesus and, and uh, we'll look to the left and we'll look to the right and, and we're not focused on the Lord Jesus Christ and we begin to sink into the depth of the sea of life. My friend, I want you to know that as we look to Jesus instead of the storm, you see, most of the time we get our eyes on the storm and uh, the storm seems so big that we forget how big our God is, much bigger than the storm. So God help us to focus on the Lord Jesus Christ to help us get through this life, to help us wage war upon our storms, uh, to help us win the victory that is only in him. And the only way that we can ever do that is to stay focused upon him and not be distracted whatsoever. No wonder the writer of Proverbs says, let thine eyes look right on and thy eyelids look straight before thee. Uh, Jesus says, straight is the gate and narrow is the way. Ponder the path of your feet and let your ways be established in Christ Jesus. Father, today I pray for each and every one who may hear the, the devotion. And Lord, I ask you to bless us and keep us and help us to keep our eyes focused upon you. Lord, help us not to see such a big storm, but help us to see a great big God who is bigger than any storm that we'll ever face in this life. Bless the listener, I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you to have a great day in the Lord today.